I was shopping for a tuba recently. Uh, I wanted something inexpensive because I don't play tuba normally. Uh, and I came across this mysterious instrument. And at first I didn't know anything about it, except that it came from the USSR originally. There was a seller in Ukraine who had a number of instruments that looked like it, but I didn't know much beyond that. And then I was told that it was actually made in Kiev by the Kiev Musical Instrument Company, probably sometime between the Second World War and the fall of the USSR. Um, I don't have an exact date because the serial number is hard to read and there's really not much more information on the company that I could find. Um, but I found that very intriguing. And then I realized that depending on where in that date range this was made, the people who made it likely would have lived through one of two horrible calamities in the history of Ukraine. If it was made closer to World War II, then the people who made it likely would have lived through Holodomor, a horrible, horrible uh, manufactured famine caused by forced collectivization policies implemented from Moscow. And if it was made closer to the fall of the USSR, then likely the people who made this would have lived through the Chernobyl incident, which is still the worst nuclear accident in history. And it was partially caused by and exacerbated by policies, again, from the government in Moscow. Um, and it seems like, you know, it's, we've, we're a century off from Holodomor nearly, and the country is still under attack, under threat um, from Russia. Not from the people, but from the government. This time, it's Vladimir Putin and his long-standing aggression towards the country that's culminated in this current war. This war has really devastated so much of the country. Um, and it's very distressing to see. It's very hard to see any kind of way out for the people. Um, and I'm also a little disappointed that America's interest in helping the country is waxed and waned along with the news cycle. Except that the war is still going on, whether or not it's news to us. Um, so I thought it would be fitting to use this old Soviet-era Ukrainian tuba, which has seen a lot of history, to play something Ukrainian. And I don't know any Ukrainian pieces for tuba. My search proved fruitless. But there is a piece that I think would be fitting to play on this, which is The Prayer for Ukraine by Mykola Lysenko. Lysenko is a 19th century Ukrainian nationalist composer, and he's basically the father of Ukrainian classical music, if there ever had to be one. And he's a wonderful composer, and this is a very stirring melody. And so I'll try to do my best on this. It's not a perfect instrument, but I'm not a perfect tuba player. Um, but I'll, I'll try my best. Um, in the description, you'll see links to um, places where you can donate to Ukraine side of the war effort, which I highly recommend you do or consider uh, other avenues to assist them because they, they really need it. And uh, now is always the time to act. And even if this is little gesture doesn't add up to a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, it's, um, I'd like to think it has meaning and I can at least transmit that across the world. So here's the Prayer for Ukraine by Mikola Lysenko.